friends and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. Today we are talking about making your own block or using the Chanel Bali technique to create clothing without a pattern. If you've watched The Great British Sewing Bee, you might be familiar with Chanel. She was one of the contestants on one of the seasons of The Great British Sewing Bee. I received this book for Christmas and I've been eager to try it out. So I thought I would start with a bodice since that's kind of the first area that I would like to create my own clothes. I also thought it would be the simplest. So. I did. The first thing I did was I had my husband measure me. He took my measurements and he did a pretty good job. There was a couple spots where I had to go back and kind of double check or, or adjust um, based on what the actual measurements were and kind of my preference to how I wanted this bodice to fit as well. So once I did that, I went through and I followed the guidelines or the, the uh, instructions in the book how to make a the block. Now, <laughs> this took a while. I mixed up a couple times. I would say the instructions in this aren't like the best and I think that's just because she was trying to, you know, condense it into a book so she was limited or only wanted to be so many pages or whatever. Um, so I don't think that it's, it's not, it's not for a beginner, let's put it that way. Um, there's some things that you really need to think through and I'm a very visual learner so like all the pictures and all the uh, like extra support that you can get from like a Facebook group or an Instagram hashtag or something like that, I was really lacking and I, I struggled. But I did get through it. I made my bodice block with a lot of adjustments, you're gonna see that. And then in the end I did have them traced on to cardboard so that I can now keep them until my size changes I guess and I can just continue to use them either for the different tops in this book or to make my own. Okay so here is the first draft. Clearly and I realized this before but the princess seam is not where it's supposed to be. It should be more over here and I checked it and that was totally my fault on measuring. So there's that. You can see a little bit of pulling here so I think I just widen it I'm not really sure what's going on there if it's because of the dart or what um, and then biggest issue is probably this shoulder is way too wide so I'm gonna take it in probably about to there I think I might deepen the dart here probably will deepen the dart here and then you can see some pulling here now kind of I don't really know anything about tailoring but I've heard that uh, pulling or drag lines usually point to the problem. So I'm assuming that my waist is too tight here. It doesn't feel tight, but I do think that's what the problem is. And I do find it like riding up into my underbust. So I'm thinking that would solve that as well. And then the hip, I, I kind of like the looseness of this, but I think for what it's supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be tighter. tighter. So I think I would take it in there. Um, and then, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened with the length. It should be longer, like my belly is still still not covering my belly. So yeah, it definitely needs to be lengthened. I might need to check my um, shoulder to hip measurement because yeah, it should be more like there or even longer because it has you adding length. Um, and then the back actually looks pretty good. So it'll just be a matter of moving over those princess seams in the back as well. And then I don't think there's really anything to adjust there. And I did go ahead and put the zipper in, you will notice. I just did that just because it was easier than getting my husband to pin me in. And yeah, I just had a zipper lying around, so that's what I did. But overall, I am pretty impressed with how it turned out considering I was very worried. And as you saw, this was my third attempt. So it's a great starting point, I think. Oh, and the other thing is this arm. So I'll need to uh, adjust the curve in the back so that it's not so tight, but also reducing the shoulder will help a little bit with that and then I'll just draft a new curve and probably lower this to be honest too. So yeah and I might also lower the dart but it will be adjusted once I move the princess seam over too. It'll be kind of you know here and then um, yeah I think I might 
adjust the angle of that dart as well there. So yeah, so I'm gonna make those adjustments and then I guess I will show you how it turns out. All right, so now I am just making the adjustments necessary, the ones that I talked about here. I found it best to seam rip everything and kind of just have it open, lay flat so that I can get at all the places that I need to get to. Okay, so I've done the alterations. Things are looking okay, although not symmetrical, but could be my body. So I'm gonna focus on the left side because that's the side that is better. Um, I think things are good here. I'm not really sure we're pulling here with the, that could be my sewing. I feel like I should be a little bit over here. Um, and then I took in too much here on this armhole curve. So I need to add a little bit back there. Happy with how it's sitting in the back. I think I'm going to take in the shoulder a little bit, uh, just make the slope a little bit lower so that I don't get that, um, flapping there um, and then this bus start it's going to the right place but I think it should start higher I'm not really sure I'm gonna do some research on that and then what else oh I let out the waist which I think or the under bust which I think was the right decision because it's looking a lot better in here and then I took in the hip a little bit so it fits snugly I think that's how it's supposed to fit for the block and then the back so in the back I seem to be getting a little bit of bunching um, kind of in the hollow of my back. I feel like that is because of my back problems um, and I'm not really sure how to fix them. So I'm gonna have to look into that or just, you know, deal with it as is. It will only come into play in certain styles of clothing. So it really might not be an issue. But overall, pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna make, make this adjustment here, this adjustment here on the shoulder and then possibly change the bust but I, I don't know I'm gonna look into the bust art but yeah we're pretty close all right here it is so again we're just looking at this side because this is a side I altered um, once I had like the fit right so I moved the princess seam over and then back again a little bit I moved this dart I had to add this piece back in here I made the shoulder a little narrower and I took the slope in and then I took it in too much so then I let it out a little bit. Um, the back still has this gaping, but it looks like the same as the picture in the book. So I think I'm gonna leave it. Um, I think it would be okay, especially once you have like your finish on there, your facing or your binding or whatever you're doing. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I ended up kind of just going off of my apex to make the princess line. So then I'm gonna have to change my measurement there what that um, measurement is and then I did the dart I did end up moving it up a little bit so I'm much happier with how that looks I didn't change it in the back but I know that I need to um, yeah so I'm really happy and now I can start on an actual garment so here is how I copied it onto cardboard so the green marks are made I made those when I when it was still together I just kind of ran a marker along the um along the seams so that when i seam ripped it then i knew where my seam lines were just easier to see than the stitching then i went ahead and just traced that all out onto the cardboard trying to keep things as accurate as possible making sure to transfer the dart like the apex and the princess seams and the dart legs and all of the markings that I would need. This is just going to be a little bit easier to trace off of um, compared to the muslin. However, I will definitely still be keeping my muslin copy as well. So then once my block was totally done, I decided to make the batwing top. So this top you really arguably don't even need to do a block for. It's mostly just measurements, but I did want to do my block first and then, you know, this was just kind of a little bit of a bonus to try it out. So I'm using this ITY fabric that was gifted to me from Atelier Adopt Fabric and I've never worked with ITY before so it was really interesting to me. It is a polyester fabric and I tend to try and stay away from them but uh, it, it's honestly I really love this fabric. So 
Um, so yeah, I just followed the instructions in the book. Again, not the clearest. There's some things I would change, like the hem around the neckline and the entire bottom sides, sleeves, everything. I don't love that. I think I would do a facing next time. And I didn't make it as tight as the book shows, but it did turn out pretty nice. And uh, this is what it looks like. So that's, uh, so that's what this looks like in the end, and I'm just going to sum up a little bit more of my thoughts here now. So overall, I really did have a great experience. You know, throughout the process, I, I kept questioning, like, am I doing this right? Is this how it looks on other people? Because some of my proportions didn't look like the pictures. And, and I, I really struggled with that. I wanted to see other people's, how theirs turned out and things like that. And I guess it was a good reminder that it's not going to look like other people's because it's for my body. And that's the whole point of sewing. Again, I have a whole video on this. It's about sewing for your own size. And, and that's the beauty of sewing is you don't have to fit into store-bought clothes because a lot of us don't fit into store-bought clothes the way we want the clothes to fit us. And now we can do that. So for that, I loved this experience. Making this bodice block was really, really nice and fun. Well, once I once all the you know wrinkles were sorted out. So I did enjoy it overall, and it was really fun to create this shirt. It's, uh, it's pretty much a zero waist shirt. This is again in the book. The one thing I will say about this is for the patterns especially, they're for average, right? Like she can't obviously, cater to every single type of body into her in her book so for example when you're marking your bust line on the bodice or when you're marking you know the hemline or the or the fisheye darts and things like that in the back uh, the princess seam darts some of the measurements are like way more than what my body will allow for and would mean that you know the dart ends way off of the fabric so Keep that in mind, don't worry about that too much, just kind of adjust it to your preference and it's not gonna be a one and done thing. You are definitely going to need to be making adjustments to your block as you go. Then I made several adjustments to get it to fit me perfectly. You know, the arm side, I followed what the book said and it just didn't work. I had to adjust a lot to get it to fit my body and that is the beauty of making your own block. So this is how it turned out. And I, again, I am happy with it. And once I was happy with that fit, I did go ahead and put it on the cardboard. I, you'll see I did choose to use a zipper here. The instructions don't give any mention of zipping up or even clipping or there's a lot of things lacking in the instructions. Okay, we're just gonna say it. So I did put a zipper in. It was just easier than having my husband clip me in every time, uh, you know, especially if he wasn't home or something like that. So I put the zipper in, definitely recommend that. And then I was able to do it up uh, as I needed and check fit and everything and move around and not worry about clips popping and blah, blah, blah recommend putting a zipper in to the back of your bodice block as you're fitting it. So that's really all I have to say about this. It was a, again, it was a really good experience. I, I do plan to use more blocks and make more garments that I can start with. Now I can start with something that I know fits me and then, you know, adjust the style lines and add sleeves and, and do all these kinds of wonderful things to make it fit my body. Like, you know, I'm excited to make a peplum and I'm excited to do a lot of things with this block. So I do recommend the block. I would recommend her book, but not for beginners. Uh, there's just a lot of uh, of things that you kind of need to um, to improv, improvise, and I, I don't think a beginner would feel confident doing that. But by all means, once you once you're comfortable, kind of making adjustments and going off script, then I would recommend this absolutely. There's some really cool patterns in here, or I guess not patterns, but designs, and she walks you through how to do that. So you, again, you use your measurements. The top that I made was, again, the bat wing top. Arguably, you don't really need your, your block for this. So if you were to buy this book and you didn't have time to make the block, but you really love the bat wing shirt, you can go ahead and make the bat wing shirt without making a block first, uh, but you do need to take your measurements. And that's pretty much the important thing of all of these. 
yeah, I am definitely really looking forward to a lot of these patterns, and trying them out and just playing around with different styles that fit my body. And thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you have a second, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already. I will see you in the next video.